greetings and salutations into our people. So I'm heading to the airfield because we finally got a break in this horrible weather we've been having lately. Um, there's still some clouds circulating around, you'll see them through the sunroof. Um, but it's looking relatively calm, so I'm going to head over and we're going to do a bit of a challenge. I'm trying to find a derelict castle in the south of the county that I live in called Goblin Hall. Now I've walked there, it's definitely not walking there weather, uh, just because it's been really raining and it's kind of in a bit of a sodden field. So we'll just ignore that and, uh, and we'll fly there instead. Okay everybody, so uh, here we go. Uh, so like I said earlier in the car, we're going to be doing a little bit of a, a challenge flight. Trying to find <coughs> Yester Castle or the Goblin Hall as is much known. So um, we've done all the bits and bobs that we need to do to get the plane all ready. It started beautifully today, despite apparently there was a bit of a problem with it yesterday. One of my other colleague pilots was, was flying it. Um, but no, she started brilliantly today, so... Okay, so we're gonna taxi down to the runway. The wind, as you can see, is dead. There is no wind. Zero, zero wind. So, you can pretty much take off in any direction you want today. And it's just me in the plane, so I can head off. So I'm gonna probably head off into runway one, one I think. Okay, so we've uh, done all the checks. The plane is looking good. I just put my glove up to the wrong hand. It's never a good start. Temperature-wise, here in uh, East Fortune is uh, it's freezing. Winter is most definitely upon us. So yeah, so I'm having to give the engine a little bit of extra time to warm itself up, just in <coughs> anticipation for the fact that it's uh, cold. This is also the first time this season I've had to crack out the, the big gloves. Oh, my people lining up on one. The divides are down. Oops. Fixed the visor. Microphone vanished. Okay, so we're lining up on 1-1 one one and we're going to depart off to the south. Golf my team are taking off 1-1, one one, departing to the south. Thankfully the fog has cleared up in my visor so I can actually see where I'm going. Welcome back to the skies! So, what I haven't told you in the time that I've been doing all the intros is I have actually got my license. So it has been a while since I was actually talking to everybody so I do apologize for all of that but I'm now up and running as you can see and I'm able to go flying whenever I want and uh, when the weather is decent, as it is pretty much today. The only disadvantage that we're having at the moment is obviously it is Scotland, and so as you can see there are quite a lot of big rain systems all kind of around us, so it's meant that I've not really had much chance to get flying. Plus also, for those of you who live in the area, you'll also realize that when summer vanishes off and the clocks go back, we pretty much lose most of the decent flying time that we would normally have when we're not working, so I've not really had a chance to get up. Okay, so like I was saying, down on the ground and in the car, today's challenge is to try and find the Goblin Hall. Now, a little bit of background behind the Goblin Hall, for those of you who don't know about it, is that the Goblin Hall is actually, it's an old castle 
which was uh, which was built at the back of Gifford, which is in East Lothian. Now, Paddington is just over this way to the right-hand side of the plane, and uh, Gifford is pretty much directly behind it, so that's kind of where we're heading to. The easiest way to, 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 to kind of get there is you head to the back of Haddington and then you just sort of duck down and go south until eventually you find it. I can already see it, it's uh, it's over that way. It is cold, freezing up here today. We do a bean can, that's always quite good fun. Bean can! Paddington! Gifford down there. So we've already made it quite far quite quickly actually. Just kind of playing around at the moment. Alright, so we're actually aiming for the golf course at the back there. So this you see this one down here. It's not that one. You want to head pretty much due south from Gifford itself. Straight over the top of Scotland, one of Scotland's most expensive houses which is actually directly linked to Yester Castle, which was the one that uh, we're going to go and have a look at. So, uh, yeah, Yester House, which you can just see over in the distance there, uh, Yester House was owned by uh, a really big opera singer, and he had it designed, or he bought it, I can't remember which one, <laughs> but he got it because it has this ballroom in it, which has got an amazing acoustic quality. So, uh, really great for him to be able to sing. And the rumor has it, and this is never really confirmed, and I'm not too sure whether or not it is the case, but when he was looking to sell the property, a uh, one certain very famous singer who I love, Lady Gaga, was actually interested in purchasing it because of the acoustic quality of the house. So, uh, so everybody in the area still considers it to be the house that Gaga nearly bought. Uh, so that's it, just down there, and it's got some amazing grounds. It's all private, private um, land in that area, but there seems to be a lot of construction work on. So there's quite a few people who are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. So if you know and you work in the house or you own the house, feel free to get in touch with me because it'd be really cool to find out exactly what's going on there. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person to fly over it either as well. So uh, yeah, we get to get an answer on exactly what's going on. That's the golf course we're aiming for, so we're gonna kind of target down this way and then head towards where I know Yester House actually is. So they don't mind people coming to, to kind of walk the area because it is kind of full of some lovely spaces to come and walk. So yeah, quite low on the ground here, but we're still 500 feet above. Which is fine, so we're, we're more than safe. But it is bird season as well, so I'm keeping an eye on. You can already see a flock of geese down there. That's it, just there. You can see it peeking through. It's really awesome. It's a great place to go and check out, especially if you've got the time to walk it. Scaring the hell out of these geese is pretty cool. <laughs> Keep an eye on the horizon. I'm pretty much heading straight for that hill. <laughs> Duck down quite nice and low. Let's go have a look, shall we? But one of the things I've got to keep an eye on, oh, a bit of road today. I've got to keep an eye on exactly how high I am, just because oh, I'm getting pushed around a wee bit now. Yeah, here you go. So a bit lower this time, so you can actually hopefully see a little bit more of it. It's just in there. Ah, you can see the, the wall of that light green piece. Awesome! Love that. Right. So, that was uh, Yester Castle. Have some fun. Fly around some of these feet. 
fields. Yep, birds. Three o'clock. There's a flock of geese over there. My flying instructor yesterday, who uh, I worked with for two years to get my license, he actually had a bird strike yesterday, so I'll put the link to that, to his video that he posted, on the, on the channel, so you can check that out. So it'll be down in the bottom, in the comment section, so check that out. So we're going to go check out Trapray Law, see if there's anybody who actually wants to be walking around it because it gets pretty cold and it's going to be wet and quite marshy up there but there's, there's some livestock and animals and things like you get horses oh I can actually see them on the top so you get people who go up just to have a wee squiz and because the wind is non-existent it's actually nice and easy to fly around it because normally when you come around this area the wind goes over this thing and it creates a monstrous amount of rotor it's just rancid to fly around so I always tend to avoid it. Oh no, there's people on it. Let's buzz them. <coughs> Hello horses. See them on the top there. The wild. this restaurant down here drift apparently you can't go down to the beach I'm not too sure how right that can be but someone was telling me about it yesterday I'm sure I can see a path that'd be an awesome beach to go to couldn't land on it though oh my fingers are freezing a bunch of gloves these things are not working I actually can't feel my fingers hardly use the radio my hands are so cold. Right, we're gonna make the call into the airfield to say that we're inbound. East Fortune traffic, Golf Charlie Charlie Mike Lima inbound from the north, three miles to run at 1500 feet. <laughs> Welcome to East Fortune. <laughs> we made it back people. Mike Lima, dead side descending 2-9. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm now just uh, descending into East Fortune. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and obviously press the little bell as well so that you get notifications of, uh, of when I post new content. Of which I'm hoping there's going to be lots now that I've got the tech all sorted out and everything ready for, for when I'm flying, so it's much easier for me to do what I'm doing. Hey, the air museum is busy. Oh, might be for joining finals tonight.
well, at least you got to go around. <laughs> Bit of extra flying. That's what happens when you come in too high. It's just the ground wave isn't long enough for me there. <laughs> a bit lower this time I think. Yeah, this is much better. And we're on the ground. Welcome back to East Fortune, peeps. Hey, hey, we're back. I actually <laughs> couldn't actually feel my fingers when I was turning off the plane, <laughs> so I only got one of the switches off. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> oh.